Hey everybody, I'm Vic. This is Travis. We drink beer so you don't have to. Welcome to Weird Beer Wednesday. Like and subscribe and hit the little bell for uh, notifications and all stuff. Help out the channel. This week we have this really odd German beer. We can't even pronounce this stuff. I, I, I've tried and I really don't want to insult any of my German friends. Um, but uh, the only thing I can't pronounce, it says Marzen right here. I, I mean, that's really the only thing I get. And uh, <sighs> it says the classic smoky beer or something like that. Anyway, it's a product of Germany straight out of there. That's all we know for now. We're going to set it up and we'll be right back in one second. Just hang on. Welcome back. I'm Vic. That's Travis. This is the beer. It's some kind of German beer. I really don't have very much information. Travis has some. Eight minute challenge, of course, begins now. Beer porn. Go, Travis. This is a beer with a characteristic smoky flavor that is achieved by exposing the malt to an intense and aromatic smoke of the burning beech wood logs in the malt houses after mixing in the first class tops the beer matures in 700 year old cellars deep in Bamberg Hills it is a smooth beer with a magnificent flavor smoky malt aromas and spices with an intense smoky taste and a bitter somewhat dry finish which that's basically the information that I have on this I don't know the alcohol I don't know the <clears throat> it's it says 5.1 on there. Here, here is it. Here is the bottle again. Again, I cannot pronounce this at all, and I'm not going to attempt and look stupid because I'm just not going to. <laughs> anyway, we have a little bit extra <clears throat> for the four-minute mark. Travis, let's give it a sniff. I mean, it's got a great head. Look at the head. Oh yeah. Look at that. I mean, that's dark. It's not a stout or anything. It's just a a, a, a dark beer. One with the smoke does. Ooh, 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 ooh. It smells smoky. Yeah, it does. Like, like a like a caramely. I was gonna say caramel. Yeah. Maybe caramely, almost like an ale-ish smell. I bet they smoke. They must have cooked the the hops and. It spice. says beechwood over a beechwood. Beech wood. Oh, so yeah. so oh. this is mm, this is way out of my my wheelhouse. So oh, man, oh, Oktoberfest. Wow. Okay, that is that's an incredible beer. That is this. You can touch. You can taste the the barrel or something, yeah, it's, right? Uh, yeah, it's was it, it didn't say it was Asian barrel, but it tastes like it was. Yeah, didn't they say it was in some kind of seven hundred? It was a seven hundred old cellar, but it doesn't say what they keep it in. Damn it! This is good stuff. Slightly bitter, just, just very to, very slightly. I think. Uh, Maybe like a 40 on the bitter uh, scale, but it is smooth as silk. Oh my goodness, it's German though. I mean, it's it is smooth as silk and has that caramely, smoky. Yes, it is wonderful. It, it, it is great. Now, we have not had a bad German beer. No, that, well, they, they're kind of, they may not invented it, but they sure hell figured it out. Yeah, no kidding, man. <laughs> this is good stuff. I'm definitely saying uh, caramely ish, not not necessarily exactly caramel, maybe toffee more like. Yeah, probably toffee. And we have this bottle left, so let me even just sniff this a little bit. You get anything different out of that? Probably not. I, I'm I'm saying the same as uh, as really out of the glass. It's it poured out beautifully. It's just it's dark. It looks this. Hold that up to the camera, Travis. Look at the, yeah. Watch it as the, as the bubbles. It just, it's a, 
pours out this dark, almost like almost a stout. Yeah, almost it, looking. But it's not a stout. No, it, but it's it is not a stout. I want to try and give us equal. It's a it's an incredible taste. It, it's hard to describe. It's uh, smoky. I, 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 yeah, it, it, it's it's like uh, I, like. It's, it's smoky. How it's described besides barbecue with uh, with us? I mean, that's it, you know. it, it, it's like the, the it was like smoked, like in like a, with hickory or something. Well, beechwood apparently. So you know, it's uh, that's what it says is with the beechwood. Read that beechwood thing again. It's there's a little read, bit on this back. This one says uh, read, read that. Yeah, original. Uh, the the name of the beer, which I cannot pronounce, right, go past that. says uh, considered the classic example in its category has been brewed for centuries in the Baroque town of Bamberg in Franconia. Uh, following the most ancient malting traditions, all is select barley malts and uh, are kindled over a fire of beech wood logs at the uh, maltings brewed in classic copper vessels and matured for a month in 14th century cellars and of course the name of the beer is a truly unique smoky beer experience that is crazy they, they, they must have the malt must get some of that smoke from the from the beech wood then it has to it because says there's no other way it says it, basically there's, they cook the malt over top of the over or smoke beech wood it says their website is www smokebeer.com oh so, remember maybe we'll, we'll put that up in the description of course smoke beer yeah I mean, so they want everybody to know this is a smoke smoke beer i mean it is uh, yeah it tastes like it too and it's wonderful mm -hmm. that is that is incredible that's incredible. It's hard to describe. It's it's incredible taste. Smooth as silk. It, it, it's got that smoky, it, it, just a tiny little bite. Yep. But no aftertaste. Mm -hmm. it, you, you taste the smoke. How the hell do they do that? They, well, apparently they figured it out a few hundred years ago because that's what they said. <laughs> 14th century sellers, yeah. Sellers. I mean, yeah. So that's in the 1300s. Yeah. So. Yeah, it says seven hundred years 700 ago. Yeah, hundred years ago. Oh man, holy, holy shit, that's a long time. Well, we uh, drank a beer from Germany that was almost a thousand. Years, you know, this stuff, this stuff is incredible. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> anyway, that's the beer. I can't pronounce it. I'm Vic. Travis, we drink beer so you don't have to. Like and subscribe. Hit the little bell thing for notifications because that does help us out a little bit, you know, whatever. Yeah. And uh, if you can find this stuff, if you've got a store that sells stuff like this, get it. I highly recommend. But if they sell any kind of German beer, I've not had a bad German beer uh, in my experience. I have, <laughs> never, I have never in my life seen this stuff before. Uh, my neighbor gave it to us. It was actually Kevin, which uh, thank you again, Kevin. I'm Shout out to <laughs> Kevin, your neighbor. <laughs> he uh, uh, he's not a beer drinker, but he said I heard that you are. So, you know, drink this stuff for me. Tell me how it is. <laughs> well, that worked out very well for us. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers again. Damn good stuff. Anyway, like and subscribe, and uh, we will see you next time. Peace.